Hey guys, welcome back to another Slightly Rednecked video. Again, my name's Chris, and if you're not familiar with this channel, I help you to produce your own meat, eggs, and vegetables from your backyard, your balcony, your deck, your garage, or even a spare room in your house if that's the way you want to do it. Today I'm going to tell you about some unfortunate news that I have. Well, unfortunate for me, not for you, but unfortunate news. Uh, my rabbit, my doe, she had her babies last Thursday, had nine babies, everything looked great. She had a great nest built, pulled lots of fur, covered them up. They were all doing just fantastic. Checked on them Friday morning, all doing just fantastic, no problems whatsoever. Come back Friday afternoon, evening, you know, back home from work at the end of the day, going to check, and there's five baby rabbits out on the floor of the cage. That's bad news. They, I don't know how long they were out there, but they were too far gone for me to save. It's kind of chilly outside, and unfortunately, I just couldn't save them. So now I'm down to just four baby rabbits. So what happened? It's hard to say exactly. You know, rabbits don't have the ability to pick up their babies and carry them around. So my guess is what happened. She was in there feeding. They were probably latched on. She jumped out and just pulled them out whenever she jumped out. They just held on to her and got pulled out of the nest box. They were kind of spread out a little bit on the nest box. She was looking a little frantic too. She obviously wanted to take care of them. She obviously wanted them to be okay. She's very protective of her babies. So I, I'm not blaming her for this. This is just a, an accident that happened, unfortunately. But uh, let me get the ones that are in there out. We'll take a look at them, see how well they're doing because I need to check on them anyway. So let me get in here, get them out. And I'll bring them out here. It's a little bit easier than getting the camera in there to show them off. So give me just one second and we'll get them out. All right, let's check on your babies. All right, get back, get back. Oh, I know, get back, get back. I'm not gonna hurt them, don't worry. I'm not gonna hurt them, don't worry. Get back, get back, get back. Woo, coming after me, are you? There you go, good bunny. All right, so here we go. This is the nest box. Let's pull back this hair a little bit. Let's see what we got in here. And yeah, I was right. There are four baby bunnies in here. Let's see if you can see them real quick. In the, uh, there we go, turn it a little bit there. In the popcorn stage, they're looking pretty good. They're all nice and fat and happy. She, do, she does a great job of taking care of them. Just, uh, you know, it's something I've never had happen before. Here, we'll show them off one more time here. Four, four little baby bunnies. There we go. <laughs> and uh, I don't know how well you can see those on camera or not. Um, it's a little bit tricky to, to show them off, but they're doing pretty well. Let's, uh, you see, nice big bunnies for just a couple of days old. Nice, looks healthy. Nice and warm down in there. It's a little chilly out today, but not as cold as it has been. Let's get them back in there so she's not too panicked about them. Don't worry, they're just fine. All right, so got those guys put back up. You know, she's a great mother. Again, some of these things just happen. Um, it's just, it's nothing to blame the rabbit for this time. Now, if this wasn't a continuous thing, it happened, you know, frequently all the time, then I would be a little bit more worried about that, but this is really the first time it's ever happened to me. Uh, let me talk to you a minute, though, about what I'm going to do with the babies that, uh, that passed away. Um, you know, there's no sense in letting those things go to waste, so what I do is I just wrap them up in a Ziploc bag, I put them in the freezer, and, and you know, because you lose a baby rabbit here and there for whatever reason, sometimes on the cage floor, for whatever, and as long as it's not like a disease or something like that, there's no reason not to save those things up, stick them in a Ziploc bag, I put them in the freezer, and when I get a handful of them together, you know, six, seven, eight of them or something like that, then I'll post them up on maybe Craigslist or something for somebody that owns snakes that needs some snake food. Um, you know, they'll, they'll go to a good use at some point. So I just, I mean, there's no sense in doing it for one rabbit and they'll keep in the freezer for a long time. So that's how I handle those situations. Anyway, I do have my eyes out for another doe, trying to keep an eye out to see if I can find a good quality doe. Nothing wrong with this one here. She's a great mother. She does a great job of taking care of her babies, but they do grow out a little bit slower than what I want. So I am looking for a good quality doe. And if nothing else, just to add on, I've only got the one doe right now and that's kind of rough because that means I only got four babies out of this litter. So I got to wait till they're at least four weeks old before I rebreed her. And then it's 30 days before she has any more babies. And then it's 12 weeks before they're ready to harvest. So I mean, I'm 
running pretty low on rabbit right now and I will be for a little while, uh, but that's okay. I'm not starving to death. We're doing okay. I will look for another one to add to the uh, breeding program and if I can find a good quality one, I'll pick it up and I'll, I've got the cage space for it. So that's all going to work out. Anyway, I thought I'd share that story with you guys, let you know how things are going here. Thank you so much for watching and as always, God bless.